What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, it looks like we're going to get an announcement that the premier boxing champion, founder and advisor Al Heyman, is taking the stable of fighters and his brand, the PBC, to Amazon Prime. As many people expected and speculated about. It looks like this upcoming week, we are going to get an announcement that the PBC is taking their stable of fighters over to Amazon after Showtime, Showtime President of Sports Steven Espinosa was let go. And Showtime, after 37 years in the sport of boxing, decided that they wanted no more parts of the sport of boxing. Now, after 37 years being a pillar in the sport of boxing, Showtime decided to part ways. Excuse me. And now, you can expect announcement on fights and fight dates. For the highly anticipated ring return of Javante Tank Davis, the rematch for Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, who's Canelo Alvarez going to fight? Cinco de Mayo, we know he's going to fight in May. We know he's going to fight in September. And a plethora of other names. Now, we get to find out what's going to be the next step for the newly crowned IBF welterweight world champion, the phenom as I call him, Jerron Boutinis, who was signed to Showtime, Showtime president of sports, Steven Espinosa. I told you guys that you was going to get an announcement in a few weeks, and here we are. You're going to get an announcement soon. Now, we got another indication that it's going to be Amazon. We speculated, we was told different things, and there's different players in the game. <clears throat> we had the zone was inquiring about taking their services, about the PBC taking their stable of fighters and bringing their services to the zone platform. We also heard that Netflix got in the running, but it seems like ultimately Al Heyman has settled on Amazon and that Amazon has put up whatever. Uh, is necessary for Al Heyman and the PBC to function at a high level. And now we have the indication that Amazon has now released the library now of PBC fighters and fights. Now they're going to be airing. You could go to Amazon now and you could watch the PBC fights. That's a huge indication of what this announcement is going to be. And I was told that Amazon is it. And you can expect to see Javante Tank Davis possibly back in the ring in February maybe March and he's going to headline the first pay-per-view fight on the card and there's a possibility to see Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford early 2024 as well we know that Canelo's going to fight in May so that window for these other fights is January, February, possibly for Tank Davis. Uh, March, possibly for Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford rematch. And May, we're going to see, for sure, Canelo Alvarez grace the square circle. So, this is huge news. Now, obviously, nothing has been set in stone as far as dates. But it's pretty much a 90% chance that you're going to get an announcement that the PBC is going to Amazon. This is huge because 
they have been doing groundbreaking things for the sport of boxing, the PBC. They had a deal with Fox. They was airing fights on free TV, then on Showtime. The fact that the PBC even was created, the way it was created was historic. So with that said, here's another groundbreaking door knockdown situation for Al Heyman and the PBC. And they're stable of fighters. I'm excited to see how this works with Amazon Prime. Now, obviously, we know the money that Amazon generates. We saw um, boxing go to streaming apps and networks, but not like this. We see the zone as the zone. The zone is a streaming app. It's just the zone, right? They don't have the, the money that Amazon has. And we see top rank legendary promoter, top rank CEO, Bob Arum. And he does um, ESPN Plus streaming. But now the resources, the production of Amazon Prime is bar none to me. When I watch Netflix, no knock to Netflix, but when I watch Netflix, and then I watch Amazon Prime, the production, the clarity is way better on Amazon than it is on Netflix. And Netflix is clear, don't get me wrong. Netflix is crystal clear. Netflix is easy, beautiful. But it's just when you watch Amazon Prime, it's like, it's extra clear. It's like comparing Showtime to HBO, the production for HBO compared to the production for Showtime, it never was close. HBO was the granddaddy of them all. Everybody wanted to be Mr. HBO. And so I think Amazon has the same leg up on, on Netflix and DAZN and ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus be having issues sometimes when you're watching ESPN Plus you be 10, 15 seconds behind, but you live, uh, it'll just freeze and start loading. I mean, that's the issue with all of these social media streaming apps because it's so many people uh, indulging at one time, right? But to have their library, to have the archives, the, box, the boxing archives that Amazon is already putting up, to be able to go back and watch any fight. That's what's intriguing. Hopefully they have that. You could go back and watch any one of these fighters fights. That would be his story. Imagine being able to go back and watch Errol Spence's third fight or Tank Davis's 17th fight or Terrence Crawford's 15th fight or, or Canelo Alvarez's ninth fight. Now, obviously they had to be in a situation where it was being recorded for them to have access to that footage, but just, hypothetically speaking imagine that right and so this is huge news this to me in 2023 was already rivaling the biggest year in boxing history in my opinion and now we have the opportunity in 2024 excuse me 2024 to make it even bigger now, we know the likes of Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, they have a rematch clause, so we know that fight is going to happen. We don't know who Tank Davis's next opponent is going to be, but he's back training. And we know he set his sights on Devin Haney. That's a strong possibility, but I don't believe that's going to happen next. Um, Canelo Alvarez, the intrigue about tomorrow's fight with Demetrius Bubu Andre and David Benavidez winner, being Canelo Alvarez is mandatory, that's huge. So there's a lot of big fights, a lot of big fights that can be made. And so I think that this is going to change the game. I think that Al Heyman and the PBC going to Amazon Prime is going to change the game like none other. Again, we already have examples of the zone ESPN Plus. Um, we even had Showtime uh, Live, right? But I think Amazon is going to take it to a whole nother level. 
a whole nother level. And right now on the archives, they have the PBC clear indication that we're going to get that announcement. And I believe we're going to get that announcement possibly tomorrow during the David Benavidez, uh, Demetrius Andre fight card or possibly next week. So let's see how this unfolds. But there's going to be a lot of eyes and a lot of attention on that fight tomorrow. So don't be shocked to see an announcement tomorrow or even today. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, signing off. I'm gone. Peace.